This is a video of a 112 scale Fairchild Metro Line building using uh, Skyline paper model plans. It comes at 172 scale, so I blew it up 600% to 112 scale and got a 59 inch fuselage length and a 57 inch wingspan. I'm using two 3 and 6 millimeter Depron from RCFoam.com, and the first thing I did was cut out the nose formers and make sure the nose wheel fit. After that was done, I took the 2 millimeter Depron and cutting and folding with the gray, and I made the skins for the nose section. For the glue, I'm using foam tack. I like it better than Yuhu Pour because it bonds easier and faster. Uh, and unlike Foam Safe CA, you can actually sand it. I've decided to go back to E Flight 10 to 15 size electric retracts for this build. I found the cheaper ones I used in my previous plane. Uh, I had trouble going down all at the same time. I made a quick and simple mount with balsa, trying to keep everything as light as possible. And then once I had that finished, I finished the front of the nose section. And used, the very tip was too hard to fold Depron, so I took a piece of two pieces of balsa, glued them together, stuck it on, and just uh, sanded the shape. Once I was satisfied with the nose gear structure, I moved back to the cockpit window area by creating those uh, formers and skins. And then I made the w actual windows by uh, cutting out the pattern, putting some carbon fiber reinforcements on it, and carefully gluing in some acetate for the window. And then I, once I was done, I sprayed the back aluminum, added a carbon fiber rod into the nose gear, and uh, started cutting out the formers for the main part of the fuselage. I split the main part of the fuselage skin into two parts, and for each one, I bent and taped them over the main formers, cut out the windows, and glued the acetate uh, window back and strips in. I also marked out the cargo door back here. I got a hatch link right here so I can uh, fit a GoPro in any of these windows by making a quick mount and get a nice shot of the wing view. I set that aside and took the windshield which is now dried, glued it onto the nose and added the top fairing. Here's the nose and uh, part of the main fuselage glued in. Went pretty smooth, only problem I had was some cracks. And right now I'm adding extra 3mm Depron formers on the back. There's me one right here. Then finally at the very end of this structure I made with the carbon fiber rod, there'll be the back former. And then I'll just start building the tail after that. Just gotta add one more uh, sheeting right there, and we can start the tail. Alright, here's the sheeting going on the formers. Went pretty well, I started moving back. And just like the nose, it's laying down the sheeting and adding the formers. Here's the finished fuselage. I've got spackle in some of the problem areas. Otherwise, I'm starting to work on the tail section. Next part was a tail, which I made pretty easy by uh, just gluing some foam together for the vertical stabilizer and adding a carbon fiber rod in between. The horizontal stab and elevators were built in two parts. They plug right into the uh, vertical stabilizer, so once that's glued onto the fuselage, I can use the wings for alignment and uh, skin the top panels on and glue it right onto the stab. That's it for part one, and I'll see you in part two.